Now leave my family alone. Was that Fabio from Survivor Nicaragua being a vampire in broad daylight? Yes, yes it was. Welcome to My Stepbrother is a Vampire, a low budget horror movie starring Fabio and pretty much no one else you know as the titular stepbrother who the movie describes as a goth guy who dresses in black, wears lots of sunscreen, apparently talks to his cats, and has the ability to cloud women's minds. Oh baby, we're in for a real treat here, and this isn't the only time he stars in a production with this film company. Oh no, there is another movie where he gets eaten by a bad CGI shark. Alyssa, what are you... But that one is for next time. For now, I do want to thank you for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. For only a few bucks a month on Patreon, you can support the show and pick what videos I make and watch all this channel's content early, chat with other fans, and even get exclusive videos every month. And I do want to thank you for your support. Now, Fabio is a man of many talents. You may not know this, but he can play drums, he can win Survivor, and he tries to act. I say try because he stars in this book trailer, which features comments such as, is it bad that I could not stop laughing at this trailer? Which is not a good comment to see on something that is supposed to be intense and serious. But thankfully for Fabio, today's film is meant to be funny in parts and overall just not taken seriously. Heads up in case you couldn't guess, this is a bad movie and we are not gonna be ripping it apart, but instead enjoying it for what it is. So let's do this. Let's see Fabio live a dangerous life as a vampire who also happens to be a stepbrother. Now you know this movie will be gold when the name of a defunct family friendly company's logo starts us off. We see some stock footage of Beverly Hills and then we meet Nancy whose life for some reason is being narrated by a cat that is clearly never seen at the same location as the human actors. It appears that Nancy has got it into her head that someone is trying to kill her. Out, demon spy from the dark side. Whatever. Please don't say it. I'm saying it all right. My stepbrother's a vampire. That cat is always off screen. Apparently Nancy thinking Fabio is going to kill her is what is supposed to hook us into this movie as we then go back in time to before she ever met him. And I am not sure who thought this was a good character idea for a girl in her 20s playing a high schooler, but Nancy is scared of boys and she's a nerd that reads books. Nancy, boys are gonna hurt you. In fact, they can make you feel pretty good sometimes. How do you know? I've seen films. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a family friendly movie, right? Well, Nancy's mom waltzes in and says, I met a man today at the dentist office. He is the dentist and he will be meeting me tonight. And somehow Nancy just cannot catch a hint. So when's your next appointment? Well, actually I'm seeing him tonight. Tonight? Is there a problem with your gums, mom? No joke, we cut from her saying she has her first date soon to stock footage and sounds implying a wedding. I, I don't even know what to say. I guess whatever gets us closer to meeting Fabio is fine by me. And speaking of Fabio. Victor, my friends call me Vic. Hey, what's up? Don't say it. This guy. It was nice meeting you all. I hope we're all gonna become close friends. Most definitely. So that cat from the beginning of the movie is Fabio's, and somehow we are led to believe that it is inside this crate that Nancy is carrying, but uh, I don't know. Is it just me? Or is it the bad special effects that gives away that this cat is not in the crate? Your cat hates me. That's impossible, she barely knows you. I open this and she's gonna attack me. No, she won't. Yes, I will. We are now 13 minutes into this movie and nothing is seriously shown or even hinted at that Fabio is a vampire. What did I buy this movie for if not to see him bite some necks and cash some checks? Well, finally. What's with all the sunscreen? I tend to burn easily. My mom was the same way before she passed on. It ain't much, but it's something. As Fabio moves in, he brings with him tons of sunscreen and he tries putting it away in this mansion of a bathroom. But Nancy says, no way, I can't share this bathroom with you. There's not enough space. Is Nancy insane? There is so much space. There's even two sinks that are like back to back. But Fabio is nice, so he respectfully leaves. Nancy apologizes, and then Fabio makes his bed so fast when she isn't looking that Nancy starts getting suspicious real suspicious. Now, take a look at this next scene. Any guess as to where it is? Any guess as to what it is supposed to represent? 
a few answered that it looks like it is the back area of the house we've been in this whole movie and it's supposed to be a school you would be correct hey Lucy hey yourself nice entrance thanks uh Nancy you know where I'm supposed to go to the principal's office for an unexplained reason new students who arrive at this fake school have to go see the principal which in this case would be Fabio. And when the principal meets him, she's like, are you a bad boy? And he's like, mm, I don't think so. I try to be good. And it's a little bit awkward, let me tell you. Are you a troublemaker, Mr. Levy? No. A bad boy? Try not to be. Now, why does she think this? Apparently it's because a girl flirted with him outside. Of course, this principal's a real psycho. Mm, what do I think about thoughts? Mm -hmm. I think thoughts are good. Say that again with conviction. Thoughts are good. And don't you forget I it. I won't forget it. After that traumatic experience, Fabio is approached by two guy friends of Nancy who think that Fabio is just so cool. We've been looking for you. I didn't touch her, I swear. Didn't touch who? Whoever the her is, you didn't want me to touch. What are you talking about? Uh, does he need to confess something that was completely unprompted? And the movie never explains it. Please social distance yourself, Fabio. Anyways, we learn that every female in this high school is checking out Fabio. And because of that, Nancy's guy friends decide that they want to start a club called the V Club. V is supposed to stand for Victor, but uh, obviously we know what it's really supposed to stand for, which is Vampire. And Victor comes from Fabio's character name, but nobody cares, he's Fabio. So what will the V Club do? Show its age by really nailing when this movie was made. As Fabio says, girls love vampires. Just look at how popular the Twilight books and movies are right now. So let's be the next Edward. And it really helped when that series of Twilight films came out. I've seen those movies though, they're, they're stupid. Yeah, it's best. What's going on with everyone? Why are they so obsessed with Victor? Uh, because he's hot. He's not actually. Have you ever touched him? He has like really cold hands. We are now 25 minutes into this film, and we have yet to see Fabio actually do anything that shows he is a vampire. Well, grab your popcorn, folks, and prepare to be amazed as Fabio goes maximum effort on this unsuspecting classmate. You know what I'd love to do to you? What? Rub your tummy, pat your head, turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. How did you get Sandy to do that? Uh, why did you get Sandy to do that? I just asked. We are so becoming vampires. <laughs> Whoa, -ho -ho -ho. so impressive, but not as impressive as the next two painstaking minutes all shot from one angle where the V Club does a training montage to become vampires. It isn't funny at any point in time. During that montage, Nancy overhears one of the boys say the word vampire. So she bursts into her mom's therapy session because her mom's a therapist to act like she is 10 years old. What do you know about vampires? Vampires? You mean the dark lords of the universe? Yes, I think there's one living in this house, maybe two. Seriously, Nancy is written like she's in elementary school, which is probably why her mom tells her she will be doing therapy four times a week. But get this, we are now 33 minutes into the movie, and finally, finally, we go to a location that is not the house. And here, Nancy convinces a lady who sounds like she's been smoking four packs a day, but only got into this movie because she was a child actor in Jaws 2. And that lady sells her some novelty holy water, wooden steaks, garlic, and a dagger to chop off Fabio's head. So now you might think it is time Time for Nancy to go for the killing blow on her stepbrother, of whom she has no proof he is a vampire, but not so fast. First, we have a montage of Nancy putting the things she bought in her room that lasts three and a half minutes and actually has her repeating some tasks to pad out time. What is going on right now? Well, finally, we get Nancy at school with her arsenal of novelty weapons and... He comes near me, I'm gonna splash him in the face with his holy water, stake his heart and cut off his head. That seems a little harsh. She might be going a tad bit crazy. We then get yet another two minute montage. The third one so far of Fabio and the V Club walking across the tennis court trying to be cool. Let me know if you're impressed. Like the Nancy montage we just saw, this features them repeating the same steps they already did multiple times to pad out the time. And mind you, this is supposed to be the school, but you can clearly see the house in the background of so many of these shots. When the montage ends, there is a guy Nancy likes. It's so irrelevant to the movie, but he comes up and flirts with Nancy and she responds with, You look good enough to eat. Oh, oh. 
Oh, that, that hurt. Hey, oh, Nancy ends up with a weak suspension for that. No, really, she does. But Fabio comes in and saves the day by telling the principal who is getting really hot for Fabio and, and not in a way I would like to explain. And he says, that was my fault. I'm so sorry, Nancy. I had nothing to do with it. Even though we literally saw Nancy assault that child. The principal's like, nah, that's fine. Nancy can go scot-free, but uh, Fabio, I want you to stay here after class with me. You can stay. How about I go and come back after school? I'll be waiting. So we're going to move on super quickly from that as we see Nancy's friend try and help her since no one believes Nancy anyways and they go to a meeting for vampire lovers and as it turns out it is for Twilight Addicts. Oh Bella, oh god how I miss you. Edward is real to all of us. I want his baby. Oh you can't have it, Bella had it. Bella's not worthy. This movie really loves dating itself. Can you guess when it was made? We then see yet another scene of Nancy's friend saying she doesn't believe in vampires. And I am at the point of wondering if there will ever be a night scene for this horror film. How are we an hour into the movie? A movie about a vampire and there are no night scenes. My mind is blown. Anyways, Nancy finally connects the dots and realizes that if Fabio is a vampire, then the man her mom married must be one too. Look mom, vampires can't cast a reflection in the mirror. What do you think about that? I think his reflection looks pretty nice to me. Fabio then talks to Nancy and I'm unsure if you're like me, but if you're like me, then you might've been watching Survivor Nicaragua and thought to yourself, can this man do Shakespeare? Well, if you ever actually wondered that. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. Please, please hold your applause. I know he just blew your mind. So we are now moving closer and closer to the climax. Nancy sets up Fabio and her thirsty friend on a date at Nancy's house, of course, but she also hires a vampire exterminator who is very incompetent and thinks throwing bottled water on Fabio's face will do the trick. It doesn't. And then it all comes to a head. Vampire killing time. Die, vampire scum! What is going on? I was so hungry. That's why I became an exterminator. Gotta eat to stay alive. So, so close, though I am now disgusted by this man eating bugs, but all of a sudden, Nancy's mom and Fabio's dad shows up. And the exterminator goes rogue and tries to kill Nancy's mom when all of a sudden... Now leave my family alone. Yes, that is correct. This film is almost over. And for the first time, frankly, the only time, we see Fabio being a vampire the way you might have imagined it when you heard that this movie existed. As it turns out, he's only a half vamp, as he calls himself, since his dead mom was a vampire and his dad is not a vampire. So now, with all of these revelations and Nancy headhunting Fabio all movie, Surely our resolution to this film is something that's emotional and will make it feel like it was all worth it. Wrong. It's okay. I'm cool with it. I think I can live with a vampire stepbrother. After all, this is our home now, right? She is like, okay, that's cool. End of movie. D the heck? I knew this movie is going to be bad going into it, but I guess I didn't expect it to be this level of cheapness and laziness. It's an hour and a half long, and it contains like 10 minutes of montages, and yet things still go unanswered. Why was the cat so prominent in the first half of the movie? Does the movie like Twilight, or does it hate it? Why aren't any of the scenes taking place at night? Were all the filmmakers homeschooled, and that's why this movie thinks that school is behind the house? Why does Nancy act like she is 10 years old? These are the real scary parts of the movie. So, uh, thanks for watching and doubly thanks for liking and subscribing. See you all next time.